you good, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. This is Oscar Bevis for the Stomping Ground, powered by Wow Hydrate and available on the zone. Jonathan Banks joins me. What a pleasure for me for the first time to be able to chew the fat with you after a brilliant Chris Eubank Jr. performance. Just your thoughts the on what you saw in the ring, Jonathan? The pleasure is mine being on the stumbling ground. That's number one. That's what everybody needs to understand. It's a pleasure to be on here. If you see the stumbling ground anywhere in the world, talk to them. They know what they're talking about. And plus, they are nice people. That's what I like about them. But Appreciate as you, far as Chris Eubank Jr. tonight, I believe he did a good, I think he had a good performance. And um, he made a statement on his performance, letting everybody know that, um, you know, he's coming, he's coming, he'd been off a year, but he's coming back stronger. Was the performance as important as the win tonight? Sometimes um, your statements become, become your victories, and sometimes your victories become your statements. And the, tonight, it was one and the same. You know, this, it was a statement victory. What's it been like working with Junior over this time? Obviously, Vladimir Klitschko, Dillian White, Gennady Golovkin, just three characters off the top of my head who are completely different, different fighters, completely, completely, different, completely different characters. Completely different. What's it been like working with Chris? I can uh, imagine a very polarizing character compared to what you've worked with before. I tell people all the time, when you, ha when you have championship pedigree, all the fighters are the same when they have championship pedigree. Now, if you got a guy that don't have championship pedigree, it's like pulling teeth, getting a guy, getting a guy to uh, be in the gym. But he's a world-class fighter. He has championship pedigree, and it, 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 it makes my job easier because I, I don't have to focus on nothing else but doing my job. What's the fight week been like for you? Because Chris has been beautiful. Look, it's like we in Riyadh. He's the center of attention, man, right? Huh? Chris is the center of attention, He's the center man, of right? attention. He's actually getting the same amount of attention as the main event, which is crazy. But um, I think it's I think it's great, and he loves it. You know, he loves the attention, and um, he embraces it. So, which is a good thing. Yeah. What have you made of the promoter beef that's come alongside that this week? And has Chris had anything to say to you about it? Um, I've been knowing the promoters for years. No fighters have been under their banner, so this is nothing. What he said was nothing new to boxing. It's just people don't talk about it because they're afraid that they might not get another fight if they talk about it. You know, so, but the beef, the beef aspect, I mean, it is what it is. He stated, he stated something. I think that um, for all swimmers, they could, they, could, they could swim in the deep end pool. But if you lie about being a swimmer, you would never go in the deep end pool. So if something affects you, if something something comes out and someone say, ouch, the truth hurts. <laughs> That's what I say, the truth hurts. But I, I don't have a dog in the fight. You know what I'm saying? I have nothing against the promoters. I have nothing against them at all. I've never done business with them. I don't have nothing against them. You know, as far as I'm concerned, they are who they are. It is what it is. But he stated his opinion, and that's what it was. Well, the promoters will be the guys making the fight, but we'll come on to what you, the team, and we all believe is next in a minute. Um, what do you think you've added to Chris Eubank Jr.'s game? Well, I'm hoping that um, I can add balance. That, that's all I'm trying to do. If I can add balance and shorter punches, that, that's, that's all I'm trying to do right now. Well, one thing we know he has got is power. Um, Zerometa floored countless times today. I felt like every time I looked up from doing a little bit of work, Zerometa was on the deck. Um, are we looking at a powerful Chris Eubank Jr., a man who, when he plants his feet, can, can do damage? He could do major damage when he plants his feet. Very, very powerful guy. What have you made of the beef with Conor Ben that started yesterday and obviously what we saw in the ring today? Man, and a little surprise from Neymar. Man, I don't pay attention to beef because beef is something you, you put on the grill, barbecue grill. You know what I'm saying? And, and eat it. I'll pay attention to that. I pay attention to sign contracts and fights. You get in the ring, I don't care. You can have all the beef in the world. It won't mean nothing until you got a signed contract, you get in the ring and fight. You know, what we but, saw in the hotel lobby, I know Chris said he felt like Connor run up him, run up on him at a time when he was dehydrated. Kind of almost broke a bit of a barrier. Do, do you agree with that? Was that poor timing from Connor to come up on Chris? If you ask him, he'll say no. If you ask Eubank, he'll say yeah. So it's a, it's a never-ending topic. 
you know. But it is what it is. It already happened. We're not talking about something, what if it didn't happen? It happened. So that's what we're talking about. He did it. Should he have done it? As far as he's concerned, he should have done it. That's why he did it. He wants to fight. Then now, now this is his time to put, his, to put up or shut up. He said he wants to fight. He signed a contract to fight him at 160. Then he fought him at 160. Could it be anything less than 160? Or would that be pushing you back to a place that he why doesn't need be? to go? He said he wants to fight, right? So why would it be less than that? Can you he said 160, right? Can you, he did, yeah. Can okay. you confirm and deny if it's... I don't want to use the word sign because I know you've got to put pen to paper and put literally your signature. But can you confirm that the fight is made as such between Chris and Connor? I don't know nothing about it. I just know I'm only commenting off what you asked me about. I don't know, know what's made, what's almost made, if it will be made. I don't know. You know, but according to, to Connor, Ben, right? That's his name. He, If he really wants to fight, he'd step up to 160 and make the fight happen. What happens if Chris and Connor do get in the ring at 160? I think Chris stops him. Six rounds. That's what I'm saying now. It may change if, the, if, they, if they make the fight and get closer, it may change. I may say four, I don't know. But I believe um, Chris will stop him. That's the goal for me, is to, is to get in there and fight him and stop him if, he, if they fight. As but again, I just want this to be clear. This is nothing against Connor. Like, we just talking about strictly boxing. I just want to but I ain't got nothing against the kid. It seemed like a nice kid to me. I got nothing against him. As a man with the knowledge you've got in the boxing game, and I know you've got a dog in the fight now, but what you've seen of Connor Ben, be it a lot, be it brief, are you impressed at all? Impressed uh, for? For Connor Ben's skills? Um, it's hard to say if I'm impressed or not because I've seen so many different skill levels in the sport. So I think he's a good fighter. I don't know if that's the question you're asking me. I think he's a good fighter. And I think it's going to be a hell of a fight for the whole country of, of, of England if, they, if, they, if these two go head to head. I think, uh, I think it'd be beautiful for them because it seems like they both really want to fight. It's a massive, massive fight in the UK. I cannot wait. Fingers crossed this is what we get next. Right. Just the last one from you, Jonathan. What have the next few weeks and months got in store for yourself? Well, I go from camp to camp, man. I go home for a couple of weeks and then I got another camp to go to. And um, just keep on chugging along, keep working.